Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Take Two Fishing. My name's William and I'm your host. I'm out here at the 2019 Field and Stream Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. So I have him up on this table, a gentleman by the name of Bill Carmen runs this guide service for you guys in the Kentucky area. Bill, give us a little rundown about what you do, guys. Well, I got elk hunters in southeastern Kentucky, and I got fly anglers or fly fishermen, if you're not politically correct. Yeah? Um, all over. Really? I do trout in the National Forest and the Red River Gorge. Do a lot of smallmouth in central Kentucky. White bass, carp, do a lot of carp guiding. Wow. Sounds interesting. So tell people how they can get a hold of you. Go to www.kentuckywildoutdoors.com. There you go. Appreciate it, bud. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, guys. So check this out what I just stumbled upon. This gentleman has got a product that's ideally for you hunters, you fishermen, you kayakers. You can simply mount something to say make you a video, whether you're hunting or trapping or whatever it is. But uh, tell me a little bit about your product. Ultimate camera mount is what the product is, and it's very lightweight and simple. It's made of aluminum bodies, all stainless steel, black oxide screws, so it's made to last hunter fishermen a lifetime. You can do so many more things with this little mount, I can guarantee you, than you'll ever do with the stick and strap. First of all, you can put it in the crotch of a tree, the fork of a tree. Um, let me spin this around here. You can the fork of a tree. You can put it clear at the bottom of a tree, angle it up. You can go clear up high in the tree. You can angle it down if you'd like. And it's very simple to use. There's two ways you use this little mount. You have this screwed into the tree, and this is facing, the screw here is facing your left as you're looking at it. Locks that in solid, will not fall down. Half turn into the tree, now this is facing your left hand side. To release it, just squeeze it together, and it allows you to loosen this nut up very easy. Bring it to the other side, now as you're looking at it, facing your right. It allows you, if you're hunting bear, worried about tearing your cameras off the tree, this allows it to release and fall away so you don't tear your camera up or your mount off the tree. Wow. Very inexpensive tool too. It's only $15 uh, on our website. Our website is www.ultimatecameramounts, that's plural with an S, dot com. Awesome. Check them out, guys. Hey, guys, here with Jeff Frederick, Turkey Calling, tearing things up right now. Jeff, give us a couple examples there, buddy. So Jeff said something to take out of work. How long did it take you to get to that point where you were able to do that? <laughs> With such expertise, I guess you could say. 32 years. 32 years. That's, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But Jeff, I appreciate it, bud. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. And so guys, you're really going to enjoy this moment here. Everybody's most favorite opportunity in the world is to meet up with a couple game wardens. And of course, I met up with them, but this time was a good time. So I've got to, uh, Warden McCabe and Warden Chabot here from uh, from the main area. And obviously they were talking about ice fishing being really common up there. So tell me about uh, ice fishing safety. Well, it really starts out make sure there's plenty of ice. You know, you want a minimum of four inches for yourself. Right. Um, once you want to start using an ATV or snowmobile or anything like that, you know, you get good eight to 12 inches for that. Once you start getting over a foot, um, you're, you're pretty pretty safe for, for most years. So uh, let me just ask, is it is it something that you run into quite often where you just really want to kind of sneak away from the job and maybe tighten the lines up yourself <laughs> a little bit? I mean, it's got to be a great yeah. job to really have, though, but at the same time, it's the nature. So what's your, what's your favorite go-to, say, ice fishing, trout fishing? Canoeing? Can I hide? Right, right now, he, he's gone a right little now, crazy. Yeah, right now I love to ice fish. Uh, uh, and I'm home, like I have uh, very good tow waters, which are lake trout. Uh, and that's what I like to fish for. I'll uh, get up and do some salmon fishing. And, uh, I love ice fish. That's good. That's good. And what about you? No, I, I, I go after ice fishing and really going after the, the crappie and lake trout. I love, I love the jig form. But, you know, once spring and summer hits, I go I go to fly fishing and trolling. 
Well, fish, I'm sure fishing is a lot different up north than it is down it south. Is. You know, but <laughs> I appreciate you guys' time. Oh, it is. All right, so I happened up on this table that really has an interesting story to it. And this nice lady here is going to tell us a little bit about it. First of all, tell everybody what your name is. My name is Tina Patterson. And Tina, tell us what you're doing. Uh, I started out of a lifetime foundation. I take children 21 and under with a life-threatening illness or a life-threatening disability out on big game hunting and fishing adventures. Really? They pick the animal or the fish and we get them out to it at no cost to the family. Absolutely, no cost to the family. No cost to the family. Tell the people how they can get a hold of you. Uh, www.huntinglifetime.org uh, That's awesome. And Facebook, Hunt of a Lifetime. There you go, appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so I'm here talking with Byron. Byron is known for trick shooting archery. How long have, uh, how long have you been in this? I've been shooting about, uh, professionally for about 35 years. 35 years. I've been shooting a whole lot. So what's your uh, what's your go-to as far as um, when you're performing it as far as trick shots? I use a safari. Safari? Oh, no, I make myself. Really? Yeah, carbon arrows. Carbon arrows. So is there anything that you would like personally to tell young enthusiasts in the archery world today that uh, maybe may be a good lead into them for them to uh, get into bow hunting? Well, the most important thing about bow hunting is remember what is the name of the game. It's not no shooting. You have to learn to be a hunter. A hunter first, a shooter second. Awesome. Well, I hear that you're going to be doing some trick work up here later. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to that. I appreciate your time, buddy. Thank you, man. Let's try that. You know what? I'll tell you about those points while we're <laughs> So what killed the stream show wouldn't be complete without some dogs jumping in some water. So, here you go, dogs jumping in some water. about wraps it up for me. Appreciate you coming along for the ride. Enjoyed myself here at the 2019 Field and Stream Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Had a blast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to seeing you next go around. Until then, my friends, be safe.